This full of thrills, what is up? This is Gavin. We are back here at SeaWorld Orlando after the announcement or the leak, I should say, of B&M's new surf coaster that could potentially be coming here. So let's go talk about that a little bit. They really do go all out for their Christmas event here, their Christmas celebration. There are tons of decorations everywhere. And I know you've probably seen all these before, but it's just awesome to look at. But to talk about the surf coaster a little bit more. So what we found out is potentially, according to the leak, it has one launch, it has one inversion, it looks like it has quite a few whippy airtime moments and also some turns, which is pretty standard for B&M. And it's very similar to something like Icebreaker, except it doesn't have a reverse launch and it has one more inversion. So it surprises me that that is the choice that SeaWorld Orlando would make to add next. And speaking of which, we don't even know if this is going to come to SeaWorld Orlando because it was a leak. So until we get an official announcement, who knows? Ah, yes. The Mako Plaza at Christmas time is super cool. That's all I have to say. Look at all the lights. And we have arrived for some Mako night rides says a posted 10 minute wait i am willing to bet that it's a pretty much a walk-on and this is the real reason to come to sea world orlando at night especially for one hour and ladies and gentlemen here we are it is a station wait or a walk-on yep it's a station wait Mako is such a solid night ride, I'm not even gonna lie. That floater hill is something else. It's so good. It's almost just like pure sustained ejector, and I love it. It is so good. Mako night rides are seriously the way to end off the night on a good way. You know, I only had an hour here, but we broke down exactly what the surf coaster is rumored to be. It will come here or not, in my opinion, which I have no idea. I feel like it's a 50-50 chance. I don't see why it would make sense for them to bring it here right now, just because they're about to open another launch coaster that does pretty much the same thing, but in a little bit of a different way. And it's snowing. I also picked up my pass holder ornament right here. Coming in here for a little holiday treat. And with the hot chocolate, that ends our day here at SeaWorld. I know we only spent an hour here, but we got some Mako night rides in. We got the pass holder ornament, and we got to talk about the B&M Surf Coaster potentially coming here. And as I'm walking out of here, I just want to say one more thing real quickly. Lots more Universal and even some more Disney content will be coming to the channel very, very soon as the holiday season ramps up. Also, I know my last video was the construction update on Air Force One, and those will continue pretty frequently. In fact, I believe another one should be out by the end of the year. Take care, everyone, and I will catch you in the next video.